Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and to another video. Well, as you are all aware, I post videos every Tuesday and every Friday, but I have been getting some requests to do some more, some more often. Now, I don't want to commit to doing three days. I was gonna change it every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but I think I'll continue to do it every Tuesday and every Friday. And if I get an, a chance to do an extra one, I will do like a bonus video on a Sunday. So we are gonna try and do a bit more, which is why we have my little handy helper because I just can't change my own nails three times a week, but I could do change little handy here so let's try aim um, and do an extra video this week so um you guys had seen me on a recent nail haul i will link up above where i had put on the zoya plus plates and this is the plus zero zero four so i thought i would do a quick stamp to see how it works as is it good is it not good um, and then i will do a little tutorial and um, i'll just put a quick uh, design together to see what we think of it so yeah so let's just jump into it so firstly um as normal you are going to have to remove that clear film sometimes there's two on these higher plates i don't know why but she puts two on Okay, this one is really sticky so we're going to go in with some pure acetone then and we are going to clean off the place So there we can see the images um, like the other Zoya plates picked up perfectly. Obviously these are just quickly done on a page, not as normal the way I'd normally do it on um, nail pops and stuff. But I just thought I would just do it nice and quick just to see what it's like. So let's jump into some sort of simple design today. Now, so what I have done is I have gone in with isn't this a lovely beige yes i know beige is boring but this is a lovely one <laughs> i've gone in with a sophisticated classic it's called beige by picture polish and i've given two coats of that onto our lovely nail friend here um, and then we will go in then with stamping so i thought i would do kind of a, a scroll blended out image so um i'm going to go in with this scroll here and I'm going to use I don't have a brown stamping polish so I'm going to use this brownie ready color it's called uh, call me Kylie it's number 108 so let's see if my plan will work for this so we're going to use the scrolled images there is just a slight bit that is not actually scroll it's from another image and I do want to remove that Now I am going to take the Eiffel Towers and I'm going to stamp them in, I was going to do navy but I'm going to actually do them in the black. And 
and I'm gonna repeat that then across the other nails so there we have the design so far I, you know I think it looks really well but we're gonna go in and I'm just gonna blend the edges out so I'm gonna use this glittery um, brown polish I have it's called chocolate brown it's 197 from essence now this is old so I hope it's not too thick I reckon it'd be okay with a good shake So then really I should be putting liquid latex around the edges so I'm actually going to do that off camera. And so my liquid latex is down and I'm just going to dab in the sponge and just go around the edges then. So there they are. I'm just going to clean that up, take off the liquid latex top coat and you guys can see the final design. So there we go. These are the final images. I hope you guys like them. They are something quite dark, not something I'm normally do, but I think they worked really well. I like the way the center is brighter than the outside. So if you guys like them, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. If you hit that little circle, you will be able to subscribe to me. So please go ahead and do that. And the square there um, over here will bring you on to another video. So until the next one, stay safe. Bye.